Well, I'm super excited over this new e-track system we're going to be putting on our trailer. We got all of our equipment here from Ericsson. So feel free to give out Ericsson wheel chock systems, e-track systems, all their trailer tie down systems. A shot, we're going to do the unpacking and then kind of show this. We're going to unpack these boxes here and then we're going to be putting it on our 16 foot PJ trailer. We're super excited about our new system. We will link our e-chock system we used by Ericsson as well. So you can feel free to see which system works for you. It was phenomenal. A lot of people we've know have went with the e-chock system. This time we're using an e-track system. So stay tuned and follow along. So we got our new shipment of our e-track system from Ericsson. Ericsson did an excellent job on our wheel chock system. We had While we're unboxing, let's talk about the Ericsson website. Here's the e-track system and the specifications. We're also really excited about this movable e-chock. We'll show you a little bit about that more in the video. Here's the specifications for it. Really nice movable e-chock system. And then we just wanted to touch up on the straps. Uh, you want to measure for a length for what you would need. These are great for not only ratcheting down your quads, but also other gear. But I'll tell you what, this is very sturdy, very nice looking product. This is so we decided we're gonna put the E-Track, Ericsson E-Track system on this PJ trailer. It's a 16 foot trailer, 83 inches wide. First thing we had to do was really measure how wide our uh, tire width was on our ATV so we knew how to run the two tracks down the center. We've done that, we've got our hardware, we have two inch thick wood and we have uh, so what we're going to do is we have the holes all alongside of this. We're going to drill the holes, uh, probably every other for right now. And it's three inch bolts. Uh, we're going to have big fat washers on the other side. And we're going to really have this secured down well. We're going to go through the framing pieces as well. We'll drill through them, bolt it. So basically, we're, you're going to see us drilling this out. We just measured. And I like to say um, we're going to put some links below to our other trailer that we just got rid of. We had a big text that we put the Ericsson e chock system on. We had that five years and it was phenomenal. I don't know if others are the same, if they're built the same, I don't know. Um, so we have the Ericsson e track system. We have six five foot pieces um, and the part number is here. It's the 19148. As you can see, so what we're gonna basically do is run three per side, three five foot pieces going back. We have, a, we have a 16 foot trailer, but not quite 16 foot length of wood. We got a couple of end caps so our tires don't catch the ends. Um, come along with us while we put this together. All right, so basically we're getting all our measurements for our E-Track system. We're going to this because it's gonna be a lower profile. Hopefully it doesn't kind of make the trailer so one dimensional. The last system we had with the E-Chock system really didn't get in the way much as what we thought it would. So we measured this out, we got our centers down. One of the things we're gonna do is just a handful of holes is we're just gonna put this lag bolt in just a couple of spots just to hold it. Then we're gonna drill holes all the way through and put the bolt through and then if someone's gonna get underneath, hold it and drill them all down. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Just kind of hold this in place, work our way down, lag bolts in just a couple of spots, and then we'll take um, each side and then we'll start drilling holes, maybe 100, 125 holes all together and then just kind of secure it, see how it works out. So we measured out our E-Tracks. I'm just using a couple of lag bolts per piece to hold it in place before we do all the drilling. Just drill two holes, measured. It's the measure twice, drill once thing. So now we're just gonna kind of drill a couple of pieces in. And I'm just doing this just to make sure this thing doesn't move on us. That's the only reason we're really doing it. And I'll get a couple in on each piece. And then we can really go to town drilling a bunch of holes. And where did you measure it from to make sure it was consistent? I measured from the, the steel in. I centered the, the, my tires on these two runners coming up so we knew right where to pull it. And then I centered that on the, the trailer. And that way we try to have the same amount of space on each side and the weight on the trailer is really well balanced. Then we can try to take things like kayaks, camping equipment, and all kinds of other fun stuff too as we're going. So what do we do since my tires aren't the same width as yours? We split the difference. So we had the two different quads have different tires. They're the exact same quads just about, but we have different sets of tires, which caused the center of each wheel to be about three inches different. So we just took about an inch and a half, split the difference, and it absolutely still works fine. And then we're just gonna run it down so we can pull both quads straight up 
right onto the E tracks, either order, and we'll be fine. So we just put four inch and a half lag bolts through these. There's six pieces on all together, so we just put four per piece. All right, so we're drilling a bunch of holes here on the E-Track system. We're gonna drill well over 100 holes right now. We're gonna be drilling into the framing, um, just going through drilling, because we're gonna put three inch bolts through with uh, pretty wide washers and then take a nut underneath it, and it's a hex uh, bolt that's gonna be at the top. We're gonna tighten them all down with the drill while one's under holding. Um, so we're gonna have some lag bolts. We're gonna have some bolts uh, going all the way through, and then we're also gonna go into the framing. So here we go, about a half hour, hour's worth of just drilling right now. And always doing the ends. Just drilled a bunch of our holes. You can see our end caps are kind of just flopped on there still. Got all the hardware ready. Probably just drilled about 125 holes. And we're now going to start putting the bolts through. Put a lock washer on top, uh, a much wider washer on the bottom, and then we're gonna just start screwing them all down and then kind of take it from there. But I love this system. It is very low profile, sleek, nice system. We've only been working at this for about a half hour to 45 minutes and uh, really happy and excited about this. We've had good luck with this Ericsson system in the past and we're excited to try this one here again. Again, there's what we're putting down right now. We can't wait to show you some of the accessories uh, we showed that in the opening of the box of this, but we're also going to show it when we're putting them to practical use. So we got three inch bolts, lock washer on the top. We have regular zinc, supposed to weather well. We have the galvanized here, three inch. So we're going to use both all the way through. So we're going to have some lag screws. We're going to be in framing. We're going to have all different kinds of attachments throughout it. But that's what we're going to do now. We're going to go through and just push all of these through together. And then we're going to go, one's going to go under and we're going to start tightening them down. So you can see here, just going through, pushing them through. Take you, you take your lock washer, we put it on, and we push it through. And I'm gonna do that uh, over a hundred times right now. got the holes drilled, the bolts with the lock washers set in place. We're going to go underneath the trailer and use these flat washers and the hex nuts and screw them into the bolts that we just put in. I'll show you what it looks like under the trailer. coming through. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting some washers and nuts on them. All right. We just got all the bolts put through. We got lock washers on the top. So as you can see, we got our nice runways down there. We don't have the end caps attached yet. We're going to attach all six of these runners first. We did the runners like this on purpose. We kind of wanted a little space and wanted to have a little room to work around. Now, Tina is making her way, the dusty bean underneath the trailer. <laughs> I have a cardboard box under the trailer because I don't want to get scratched up from the driveway. And I've got the nuts in the uh, washers underneath there and a socket, 11 millimeter socket for these nuts that we bought. I'm going to go ahead and under head underneath. So I'm going to start drilling the these to tighten them up. She's just going to hold it with a socket and we're going to go through all 125 or so of these and keep on going. So I want to show you these end caps. See this, you kind of just line it up on the end of that. And we go here. What happened with this end cap was really these holes were a little bit too small. So I'm just kind of taking this a little bit. I'm just kind of doing that. I'm going to use those things kind of a lag bolt screw to hold these in. So I figure I just make the holes a touch bigger. They're pieces of plastic that'll go on the end. We'll show you the fit and the finish of it here soon, but it's gonna be really pretty. 
So just getting the bolts underneath, the bolts pushed through with lock washers on top, all the nuts tightened up underneath with washers. And I'm going to show you these end caps here in a minute. Once we get this secure all the way, we're going to have these end caps on. It's going to look pretty nice, I think. And it's going to be something like that. We're just trying to keep the sharp edges off the tires. And once they're secured down, I think they'll start lining up better. But you get the point. Um, it's going to really start looking good. We're just going to use some lag bolts, lag screws, I should say. We're going to use that right here. That's what we're going to use to hold down our end caps. And we're going to continue tightening all this up. But you can see even here at the end, you know, where you get this sharp edge. Once this is tightened and so it can't move anymore, we'll put this along it and it'll look something like that. So we'll show you the finished product. This is what it's looking like so far. I'd say we're half to three quarters of the way done easy. All our holes are drilled. Um, all our lock washers and bolts are pushed through. Now we're just underneath putting the, the regular flat washers on with the nuts. And then we're tightening them down with the drills. About halfway done with that. We just put all the nuts and bolts on. We're about 125 of them on all the E-Track rails. So they are secure. We're ready to drive on. Very sturdy, by the way. Again, I don't know if different manufacturers have different strengths. These show um, on the tag, it says a five foot, says 6,000 pound on it. On here, it's marked WLL 2000 LBS, so 2,000 pounds. Um, but I do want to show you really what we're doing, and we're going to clean this up in a second just to show you these end caps that we have. So we have these end caps. We're going to put them on here, and we're just going to kind of make them neat. It's just going to take this edges off. So you see without them, we're driving over, you know, catching on the edge a little here we're gonna be able to kind of do that. It should give it a nice finished look. So we're gonna secure those down right now and then we'll film what it looks like. It's all installed, cleaning it up. Kind of give you a quick run around here of it in just a second. We are done, just cleaned up. Here's the view. So we're going to link our other videos below and kind of do a trailer series just because we find the easier it is to load up and to do things, the more you'll go out and do it. No matter how excited you get, if it's hard, over time it just gets not as much fun or, you know, just too much. And here's kind of showing you the end caps. So we put six five foot sections down and now we're gonna pull our quad up. Thanks for coming along. We are excited to get out and do some kayaking and camping and all kinds of fun adventures with this new trailer. It's the end caps we were talking about. Really, this trailer lets us do a lot more. And we're trying the lower profile of this. You couldn't beat the Ericsson wheel chalk system we had before, you just really couldn't. It was fantastic but it was a little big and cumbersome up top. So this will be a lot lower profile and shouldn't get in the way. Let's pull a quad up and see how this thing came out. Moment of truth. We just installed the Ericsson E-Track system on our PJ trailer. This is a 16 foot trailer. We want to be able to pull our quads just right in front of each other, one in front of another without having a side load. Uh, we want to have room for kayak on each side of our quads was the thought. So here comes Bob. Let's see how the first quad loads. First time loading our quads on our new Ericsson E-Track e e system. How does it look? Looks good. First time it actually looks up. perfect on yours. Our that tires are just a little bit different uh, widths, just because I have a little bit of an upgraded tire. <laughs> Bob had the upgraded paint, I got the upgraded tires. Not on purpose, it's what the dealer had, it was dealer installed. Got one up there, here we go with the other. First time pulling them up. Just getting the new Ericsson E-Track system on. We're pretty excited about it. It gives us so much flexibility. If you really take a look, 
we can park it anywhere on the trailer we want. So this is just showing you what it kind of looks like right now. See how it sits on the tire. And it's the same wheel strap system that we really, that we used on our e-chock system. And this is just absolutely perfect. I love it. Looks great. Both of our first times pulling up, it's pretty easy. You see, they line up pretty good. We have a different wheelbase between these two. So these two quads, we kind of split the difference, but it's going to work great. We're going to try a couple straps out. Okay, we got our e-track system all on. I want to show you a couple quick Eric Erickson accessories we have. This is the movable e-chock. It can go anywhere on the e-track rail. I'll show you that in just a second. Let's set it here. And then how these ratchet straps work. I'm sure you've seen them before. But as quick as you're out riding, we put the gate down, pull these up. That takes, what, 15 seconds? We just fling this, this undone. And really, all you're doing at that point is just hooking up your ratchet strap. And it's just so fast to, to do your wheels this way. So you just kind of take it there, undo it, put it there. We pull it, these are brand new, we just cut them, we're not quite the length yet, but I just wanted to show you, not just coming out of the packaging brand new, that still took me 10 seconds. So once we get these trimmed up a little bit, we've got to heat up the ends, um, you can see we can get all four wheels strapped down in just a couple minutes, we can pull on, go, and we're gone. It's really easy, we've been out doing this many times where it's raining and muddy, it's nice, really nice system to have. And look how quick it is to take it off. You unlock it, see it came undone. No pressure on the suspension system. And it just goes anywhere in the rail. In that rail. You can look in on this, there's just something you squeeze here. And that goes anywhere on the whole E-Track system. How cool is that? You really only gotta do two opposite tires too. So I mean, if you do the front right, you do the back left. We'll do all four a lot it's fast. But let's say we pull up and we don't want to come all the way up or we want this quad to stop at a certain point. We have these Ericsson movable e-chocks. They have the same basic system that the, the ratchet strap has, as you can see here. So basically, when this goes down, this lip is going to lock into one of the tracks. We're going to show you here. Lock the front lip in. And, and then you basically just kind of undo that. And there it is. So when you're driving your quad up, anywhere I want to stop, and once we have it marked out, we simply put that down. We have four of them. We can use it anywhere along the whole system we want. It's awesome, guys. The Ericsson system is high quality. It's been good. We have used it before. We used it in a previous video five years ago, which we'll link below. Little added bonus to this E-Track system. There it is in the action for the ATVs. But take a look at this. We used it for our generator. We just went on a camping trip. And so here we are, we used it for our cooler. And all you gotta do is really quick, just take your ratchet strap, put it down, and just ratchet it down. I mean, look how quick it is just to get down. So that's awesome, as you can see here. Just kinda use the ratchet strap there to hold the cooler down and the generator down. Another added bonus of this E-Track system. We're gonna do all kinds of accessories. Please feel free to like the channel. Subscribe to the channel, like the video. Thanks for stopping in.